Hello everyone, I am Malika Jahan, B.Tech Computer Science student who has made this video of an Android app. Name of the app is Help. Since this app was basically made by keeping in mind the security of women, thus logo of this app is Women's Security. But it does not mean that it is not useful for other people. Now since this app is an help app which will be used in alarming situations, so it should be opened automatically and not by manual clicking. And we can do this by making use of OK Google. This screen will appear as you say OK Google on your mobile phones. After this screen which is showing listening, you need to say the name of the app that is help app. So we will say open help app. Now after this automatically your app will be opened. This is the first screen of my help app. By clicking on the start button, you can go to the next page of the app. This page is for registration, where the details will be submitted for once and any time ever if you ever open this app this registration page will not be asked the information will be saved in your internal memory of the mobile so save the details as following here the name should be entered your name your mobile number your buddy's name that is the helping person which you will need in later situation his or her mobile number in which the message will be sent in your dangerous or need of help situation. After filling the details, you should click the submit button. After clicking the submit button, a message will be sent to that buddy number who you have just entered. This is the message which will be seen in his mobile after you have clicked the submit button. This is the second screen of my Android app. And we can see that S Voice Speak Now button, which is the Google Speech to Text Converter button. By clicking on the Speak Now, if you have uttered the word keyword help, then it will ask your mobile to switch on the GPS if the GPS is not enabled. You can see after uttering the word help, 
this is the message or the dialog box which will appear now after going to the setting and enabling the GPS you can see a message will be sent to that buddy helping person with your longitude latitude of the mobile network as well as the GPS address with the message seeking help for the current situation this is the longitude and latitude and this is the complete message which will be sent to your buddy person also you can see the message which is flashed with the longitude latitude and the address which you can see that this is the message which will be sent to the person the data flow diagram of this help app is this in which there is need of a candidate who will enter his or her number with his name and all the required details and then move to the next page which is the speak help button in which there is a google speech to text converter by clicking on that button you can see help and once the help keyword is witnessed it will send the sms to the helping person and you can get help in that situation this is the coding part of this help app which is made in Eclipse also this app can be made in Android Studio these are the four class files which are required in this app making this is the main activity app which can consist of different classes where first class is the GPS tracker which will allow the GPS to be enabled or disenabled second class is the location address class which will seek address through the GPS tracking device and convert it into the address of the mobile network and the last class is the app location service which will allow the app to even get the address if there is no network or GPS enabled because that will track through the mobile network also it this app make use of SMS manager classes uh, SD card manager class Google talk button which is the speech to text converter and here comes the help app which will help the person in any kind of situation. Thank you for bearing with me to understand the functioning of this help app. In case of any more queries, we are still working on this app to make it more useful and more efficient.